Hello, hi, this is a video regarding how to install a mail server with application 12 mail width and I lay out the 9 steps. Uh, first one is registration domain name, two is by the server, three, pointing your domain name to your server's IP, four, set up your hosting, five, set up the VHMC panel, six, DK IM SPF. DMARC or DNS setup, 7. Install mail with, 8. Setup mail with, and 9. Test your server. So let's begin. First, I recommend register domain using godaily.com or namecheap.com. And after you have a domain and check your uh, domain name, you see like the block list. And then you're gonna also uh, register your uh, the server, which is then number 2. I recommend the VPS server for Mailwitz Highway is a RAM 2 meg 2 gigabyte and the hard drive 40 gig and IP address 1 IP address. As always, CentOS 7 and control panel is WHMC panel or C panel. For this demonstration, I'm going to use the Voltra.com and I'm going to choose the server. I say I'll choose one and uh, with this is not available Singapore and uh, sent out seven okay this is four that's okay and uh, size I need two gig. Okay, and uh, forty gig. Okay, but uh, uh, at the beginning you can just using this one, and uh, if you need, just upgrade that later. On. Additional feature? No, I won't choose anything. And uh, I actually need to want to add some additional option. If I click the application, you should see the C panel and that's the one I want to add for the sin toast seven is fifteen dollars per month and uh, That's it. Server host name and uh, just enter yours. For me, I have one register with GoDaddy, Teresama.com. So I'm going to use this name. Okay, normally for a server, I like to use in subdomain. So I will just do angel. Tarisama.com. Okay, and let's do deploy. And uh, it should take a couple minutes to set up. And you can they'll give you the IP address, everything. So uh, first you can check this IP address. See if they are in the block list. The first thing you go to MX Tool, check the domain. See the domain the block list or not? It looks like it's okay. And then check the IP address. It looks like IP address is okay. You can check the domain again because it was timeout. Look like it's all okay. Check the uh, spin holes. Go to the spin holes. Look up. I 
Okay, enter your IP address. And paste. Check it. Now list, now list, now list. Do the same thing, check the domain. Now list. Since there is no so IP block, block list, so we can point the domain, we can use the domain IP address we just, we just given. Go back to the GoDaddy and choose DNS setup, which is our next step. Set up your hosting, GoDaddy, and Cloudflare. I personally prefer that. Choose DNS in GoDaddy. Currently, my name server is point to the Cloudflare. As you can see, it connect to Cloudflare to the server. In Cloudflare, just click DNS and make sure you have your subdomain or main domain point to your IP address. This one I don't need that. And we're gonna change those settings later. Now go back to your VPS. Then you should have information regarding to your VPS you just received. To set up the control panel, I just go to the IP address 2087 and then I will just continue to log in to the control panel and tap your password, uh, use ID and password and then log in Once you log in, first let's go to keep a grid and go to step number 2 Tap your email address and then go to the step number three. You can enter your own IP address. And go to step four. Then going down, you will ask you for the name server. And just go to the name server you have from the setting in the code editing. Account for here. So just copy and paste them and do the same thing to the next one. Next screen, just choose by default, go to a stem of six. Then I will just use the default finish and go to WHN. Go down, enable those, and then go down. Everything can take by default, just accept the SPL for DKIM. Okay, make sure you are enabled them. And click Save Setting. Then click down the server time on the server configuration menu and select your time zone. Then choose Change Time Zone and do the basic web host manage step. I recommend put the something your domain's email and even though you don't have this email yet but just put over there and you can create it. Then check the IP address make sure it's all correct and also check your name server make sure it's correct then save change.
Next step, go to networking setup and click the change host name to make sure you have correct host name over there. Since I have host name set up like here in the VPS, so I'm gonna use this one. And click change. Then scroll down to the account function. In the account function, choose create new account. First, put your domain and your domain. Do not put the www, just put the domain name. Choose a username password and type the email and choose a package by default. In the DNS setting, just make sure DKM check SPF check and uh, make sure your name service is correct. And make sure your local mail exchange is, is checked. And just click the create button. And go to DNS function and choose edit DNS zone. And choose your domain and click edit. Now go back to our structure into the uh, structure a little bit. Uh, we're working on this one, control C up, then we're gonna set up the DMLC because we have done this too in the C panel and this is what we're gonna do. To set up this, we want to go to the uh, website dmlrcguide.globalcyberalliance.org Copy this URL to your browser and you'll see this page and just type your domain name.com and just click the submit. Okay, then just click the select and uh, next. Make sure domain is there and click next. And then just choose reject here, next. And type your email address and click next. Same thing, type your email address and click next. Or subdomain, just reject, click next. Next, choose a street and street on the DKIM SVM. You can type by them the rest of them by default and click the finish. Now copy this first part here. Copy that and go back to your control panel setup and go down, add new entries and the text information is here or right. text information is already from try to copy including the double quote okay okay it's complete now your VPS go to the settings on the reverse DNS setting, change that. Okay, change to your subdomain. Okay. Reverse DNS. So we pretty much finish this day number six. Then we're gonna double check it'll be. Okay, this video I'm going to stop here and uh, the part two. Video I'm going to talk about install the malware and sell the malware.